So in today's video, we're going to be focusing exclusively on Mavic Pro batteries. Yes, you've neglected them, you haven't charged them, you've chucked them in your cupboard, you've forgotten about them, and they are now KO. No lights, not charging. What do we do now? So today's video, we are going to exclusively show you everything you're going to need to revive Mavic Pro batteries. Let's get into it. So the tools needed will be a Dremel, a bench power supply, a soldering iron, EV2300, a PC or laptop of your choice, and a battery balance charger. Right, you've just seen the, the list of tools that you're going to need to uh, perform this uh, surgery on your Mavic Pro batteries. As you saw there, we had a Dremel 4000. We opt to use this because the cutting discs are really small and you can cut with precision. And the only reason we cut the Mavic Pro batteries is because the amount of glue DJI uses to close them. It is almost impossible to open these batteries neatly and nicely and save the casing. So in our case, our clients always get a new casing. Secondly, you're gonna need a bench power supply. So this is to push the battery's voltage up to about 11.4 where the software will then recognize that the battery has some power in it and then be able to remove the error code. So a bench power supply is very, very important. It's a must have. Thirdly, you need a, a soldering iron. This is our load shedding soldering iron. If you're watching from outside South Africa, our government cuts off our electricity four to six hours a day. So when we can't use our wall plug soldering iron, then we revert to our gas one. So soldering iron is definitely a must and you'll see why in the video. Fourthly, you're gonna need an EV2300. There's also an EV2400. And this will work in conjunction with your laptop. The tool alone, I'll link everything in the description below where you guys can buy this. The software is also subscription based. Okay, it costs, I think the minimum subscription is about three months and it costs about 40 euros. So you'll need this tool plus the firmware and a laptop or a PC to be able to remove the error codes. You'll also need a decent uh, battery balance charger. All right? in, in most cases, we need to balance the cells to get them evenly um, before we start flight testing and that sort of stuff. If we don't balance cells, um, if the cells deviation is too much, there's a really good chance that um, the battery could chuck an error called broken cell. That just means two of the cells are higher and there's a third that's really low and then it goes into a broken cell. And lastly, of course, with us cutting casings open, you're going to need brand new Mavic Pro casings. As I mentioned, because they are so hard to get into, we automatically put new casings on clients' batteries. So now with that said, you guys have a, a better, better idea of what tools are required. Let's get into opening one of these batteries. All right, so before we cut this open, safety first. Sunglasses, safety glasses, and a good pair of gloves. This thing spews hot plastic, so it can really burn your fingers and your face quite badly. So eye protection and at least gloves. And remember, please do this outside. This is a major fire hazard. Anyway, let's get into opening this up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut along these seams here. You can see there's clips over there. So we're gonna cut along those clips and we're gonna rotate the battery as we cut. So let's get going. Okay. 
the silver clips on the side here. And more on that side. Okay, so the cells are sitting right here, so you don't want to hit those with the dremel. Big fire. Once you've got the casing off, that is pretty much what you're left with. The balance board, positive, negative, and obviously your button. So now we can start the process of removing the error codes and getting this battery on charge. So let's go and do that. Hi guys, so we're back with another video. I'm back by popular demand. Um, I'll be going through a battery repair on a Mavic Pro battery. So obviously uh, the previous video we showed doing some battery repairs on a few different models of battery. Um, <clears throat> and we have had a few requests where uh, people are asking us to do per model battery per video. So we, going forward, we're going to be doing as many models for DJI at least um, their batteries as we possibly can. So as you can see, Mavic Pro battery. Um, I'm sure you saw a little bit earlier the process of disassembling the case, which is of course quite dangerous and lots of care to be taken. Uh, we've been doing this for a while so we know where to cut how to cut how deep to, how deep to cut etc but nine out of ten times the mavic pro specifically the cover the casing for the battery has to get broken up as you saw so yeah same procedure check the voltage per cell check the voltage for the set of cells and um, get it on the power supply see if the cells come up low 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 uh, current at the rated charge voltage which is about 13 volts 12 volts between 12 and 13 uh, but we're going to start at 0.2 to 0.3 amp and then after about an hour or so 30 minutes to an hour worth of charging retest each cell retest the set of cells and we'll take it from there so i'm not going to be discussing uh, every single little detail let's um let's just get into the actual what has to be done etc i'm just going to clear up the uh, b7000 again i always 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 mention using metal tools and metal tweezers and metal picks but again it's only because i've been doing this for a while you have to have to have to be careful this is ground for example if I touch this ground with that guy over there with maybe a MOSFET that's not so bad these are not so bad but that MOSFET over there there's gonna be a big spark and potentially damage the specific board so I'm just gonna carefully remove the glue and that is to that is just to be able to get my clamps and my multimeter and so on onto the the bay a little bit yeah. it's usually easier to just heat up this glue uh, that's gonna make a lot of noise now so I'm not gonna do that and normally when the when the um, glue is like hard like crispy dry that breaks off quite easily as you can see That's it. So I'm going to start measuring voltage and I'll just confirm. As I think I might have mentioned it previously, Mavic Pro's nominal, which is sort of maximum voltage or optimal voltage, is 11.4. If you're unsure, you can check that. Put a little stick on the back. Just get it of this silicone glue. So as you can see over there, 13.05 would be maximum charging voltage. 11.4 is the battery's maximum nominal voltage. So we want to sort of get this battery at around about 11.4. And then it should be in a cell functioning state, not necessarily the board, um, but the cell should then be back to normal. It might not work in the drone yet, 
uh, that's the reason we use a software to reset this little chip to tell it that the over discharge has been cleared it's not over discharge anymore it's back to normal and then we start testing the cells okay so what i'll do now is i'm going to put it on the power supply for approximately an hour as mentioned 13 volts max very very low current 0.25 ish 0.3 maybe amp and after that come back when it's full take another measurement and um We'll do it through the software, put it on the balance charger, do some flying, quite a bit of flying, discharge, charge up, discharge. We're going to probably do three cycles at least. And then um, they often can go into a new Mavic Pro battery casing and then it'll be as good as new. Let me just take a quick measurement before I pop it onto the power supply. See, it's not completely, completely flat. It's about seven volts, approximately. See my multimeters. But you also need replacement. So all I'm going to do now is I'm gonna just have a look at at least two cells. I know the total is seven volts. So if I'm getting about two point three volts per cell then they are fairly close to each other which is important these guys need to be balanced Sorry, 1.8, 2.2. And if you do the math, the balance would be on the last cell. So. 2.1. So there's some imbalance. As mentioned, I'm gonna pop that on the PSU now, on my power supply. And um, it's probably gonna be about an hour, but yeah, you, you guys will see it in the next few seconds. A few moments later. Cool, I'm just gonna turn the ground point clock and data point quickly to get my little homemade adapter on there. And that's it, ready for the EV2400. Okay guys, wires are soldered on. EV2400, ready to be plugged in. So for DJI batteries, the SMB gets used. As you can see my little homemade adapters all soldered up. Plug in that bad boy. USB cable going to the laptop and from here as mentioned we are doing the TRB software process
normally at this point we'll go over to the balance charger, but in this battery's case all the cells were perfect and there was absolutely no need for it. 